most pork. Now ladies, you're gonna like this one. In old Hawaii, women were not allowed to cook. Where are the cookers? So here at the front of the honeymoon, we're cooking up a big hand man. That's Kaluna and Kaneala. We're gonna have them pull this big one more time. So on the count of three, Hoki. One, two, three. Hoki. For those of you who haven't, poi is the main staple of the Hawaiian diet. Just like rice and potatoes are in the mainland, poi is there you go. here in Hawaii. So Thank be sure you. to try You're some. Welcome. How about another hand for our men? They're going to take that back and get it ready for you. And there we have hula. So let's start from the top. Here we go. And one, two, one. Before battle, 
One of the tools that they use to train for battle is the poi ball, which is also used by the Maori women to keep their hands flexible for weaving. Now you're gonna see a lot of tongue sticking and glaring eyes, known as pukana. Though it may seem funny, the pukana alone had the power to scare off enemies and was just as important to a warrior as his weapon. Finally, the weedy, or fluttering of the hands. As legend states, the parents of the Maui gods were locked in an embrace, allowing nothing but darkness. As their children grew, they longed for space and light. So they separated their parents by holding their mother earth down and pushing their father sky upwards, causing the earth to tremble. The witty represents the trembling of the earth as their parents were separated. This is known as the Maori myth of creation. We welcome you to Aotearoa, New Zealand, land of the long white cloud, where the greeting is Kia ora. that they are descended from a line of great warriors. They seek guidance from their ancestors to lead them to someone they can trust. Yeah, yeah.